Welcome to my video. This video is about life cycle of laptop. Now everyone has their own laptop, but how much do you know about it? You must really want to know. Let's get started. About table of content. The first part is the introduction of laptop. The second part is life cycle of laptop. The third part is impacts of laptop and the last part is conclusion. For introduction, a laptop is a small, portable personal computer PC, with a screen and alphanumeric keyboard. Typically having the screen mounted on the inside of the upper lid and the keyboard on the inside of the lower lid, laptops are folded shut for transportation and thus are suitable for mobile use. About the history of laptop. In 1975, the first portable computer was the IBM 5100, released in September 1975. It weighed 55 pounds, which was much lighter and more portable than any other computer to date. While not truly a laptop by today's standards, it paved the way for the development of truly portable computers. In 1987, the U.S. Air Force issued an RFP, Request for Proposal, leading to the purchase of over 200,000 laptops. The contract for the manufacturing and purchase of these laptops was awarded to Zenith Data Systems. The Air Force's purchase of such a large number of laptops helped pave the way for the popularity of laptop computers. In 2007, Asus released the EPC701 in October 2007, which was the first netbook to be available. It featured a 7-inch screen, an Intel Celeron M processor, and a 4GB SDHC storage disk. The next part is the life cycle of laptop. The first one is mining. A laptop is made up of over 30 different minerals which are mined and extracted from the earth. Some of these minerals are silica, iron, aluminum, copper, lead, zinc, nickel, tin, selenium, manganese, arsenic, and cadmium. The, the second is manufacturing. Once the raw materials have been extracted from the earth, these minerals must go through various processes to be able to be transformed into the parts of a laptop. The third is packaging. When the manufacturing process of the laptop is complete, it is ready for packaging. Packaging takes place to ensure the computer will not be damaged when transported. Generally, Packaging requires the use of plastic, styrofoam, and cardboard. The fourth is shipping. The laptops are then shipped, oftentimes overseas, to stores, businesses, and homes. Transportation relies on the use of fossil fuels, and because millions of computers are shipped from long distances, a lot of CO2 is released into the atmosphere. The fifth is usage. Once a laptop is in your home or office, it requires electricity to work. It is important to remember that the electricity we use may come from coal, petroleum, and or natural gas, all of which contribute to climate change. The last one is recycle. Closing the loop to the life cycle of a laptop can help reduce the amount of energy and resources needed in the first stages of a computer's life. When a laptop is at the end of its life, recycle it, donate it, or find a new use. For impacts of laptop part, there are two points. First point is the impact of laptop on environment and the second point is the impact of laptop on human health. In disposal, when notebooks become obsolete or split, they need to be disposed of. The substances inside them become a part of landfills. Some notebook manufacturers, like Dell, 
Take their older notebooks as input signal recycling applications, however, the Environmental Protection Agency estimates that just 38% of computers in 2009 from weight have been recycled. If notebooks aren't recycled, the guide, mercury, along with other noxious components, can induce the groundwater near imports, entering the surroundings. In utilize, relative to other consumer products, laptops don't consume power, but they possess a carbon footprint. Even the University of Pennsylvania estimates, based on the version, laptops generally have between 20 and 50 G each hour of moderate action. A notebook at the maximum end of electricity consumption with 80 G per hour would just create 0.05 kilograms, 0.12 pounds, of carbon each hour of usage. Compare this into a dishwasher which absorbs 3,600 G and produces 2.4 kilograms, 5.4 pounds, of carbon each hour. In landfill waste, changing technology and computer breakdowns lead to millions of tons of waste in discarded computers each year. An estimated 50 million tons of electronic waste are discarded each year. Most of these discarded computers are sent to landfills overseas in Africa, China, India, Vietnam and the Philippines. There are entire regions in these countries that are polluted due to computer waste. Computers contain heavy metals like lead and toxic chemicals that pollute the soil and contaminate groundwater when they are dumped into landfills. Runoff from these landfills can contaminate water used for drinking and bathing, exposing people to dangerous chemicals. For the impact of laptop on human health, they are one of the most significant sources of electromagnetic fields EMF, radiation, which are declared toxic by the World Health Organization. Like all wireless devices connected to Wi-Fi, laptops use radio frequency RF, energy. In May 2011, the International Agency for Research on Cancer IRC, a body of World Health Organization has stated that radio frequency is possibly carcinogenic to humans, using a laptop on the lap concentrates EMF radiation on the lower abdominal area, which is especially harmful for the reproductive organs in both males and females. According to the study conducted by the International Institute for Population Sciences, Mumbai 2010, Close to 27.5 million couples are diagnosed with infertility every year. In conclusion, the age of technology and computing is on and everybody has to match the pace. Nobody can avoid or stop using laptops, but it is recommended to take adequate measures that can make your laptop usage safer. Even a few small steps can be helpful in reducing the impact of laptop radiation on our body and mind. To begin with, one should always keep the laptop on a desk or a surface away from their lap. Therefore, always keep in mind to create a space between your lap and the laptop for EMF to disperse. This reduces the impact of EMF drastically. There are some mitigation measures. First avoid wasting electricity, we can turn off our computer and monitor when not in use. Second, reducing the impact of laptop radiation, we can always keep in mind to create a space between our lap and the laptop for EMF to disperse. Last, reduce waste in landfills, regulates the disposal of e-waste, including laptops. Reduce, reuse, recycle and dispose of your laptop waste properly. Thanks for watching.